I've been seeing this video uh, roaming through my TikTok feed. Because um, you guys don't know, yes, this used to be TCR. So I would like other cheese my pages. Uh, and stuff still comes out, still comes out on my feed, right? So this is a video talking about the one and onlys. Okay, shout out to Nestor and Candy, the Aguilars. Okay, the Aguilars. Apparently, they were on some in in some drama in some type of thing okay and basically the video is a you know their life their life and they're talking about vasectomy why nestor doesn't want to get one you know trying to convince them and well let's just watch the video and uh react to it because I, I do have to say a little something Five no, kids. Sex. Yo sufrí mucho, no? But I had five kids. Okay. Do you guys think it's his turn? Like I feel no. like yo, mira, yo soy, yo siempre le digo, yo soy bien, Good. yo soy bien cabrona, really, yo soy, really listen, 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 yo soy bien I'll chingona. I'll, I'll go through surgery anytime. I'll do stuff for my family Me because too. I love them. Yo soy bien chingona. Oh, después. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, let me pause it. Let me pause it here. Okay, this is my message to a Nestor specifically. But, you know, you could say Candy and Nestor, okay? Listen, Nestor, bro, I was the same way. The same way, bro. You know, growing up in, uh, I don't even say, I don't want to say machista house because my dad is not machista whatsoever. But his dad was, right? My grandpa. And uh, let me, I don't know if my dad wants me to put this out there, but my dad did get a vasectomy and once he did all my theos his dad were like oh you're a little bitch because you got this right bro sometimes we have to uh we have to sacrifice for our ladies right i literally just got a vasectomy done um i want to say over six months ago i got it done and to be honest it was probably the best thing i've ever done okay especially mm -hmm. helping our, our ladies out because my lady had two babies not like candy she had five which bro shout out to you queen five five babies damn that's a lot but you know sometimes we do have to sacrifice and do some things for our our woman i mean our girls go through a lot bro like pushing out a baby is tough you know shout out to everyone that's a mother push out a baby you guys are the real queens okay you guys are the real ones all right. So I feel like this was the least I could do. I didn't push out no two babies, especially no five babies. But, you know, it's the least we could do. And listen, in my opinion, I feel like Nestor was probably raised. I don't know how he was raised, but probably raised the same way my dad was raised. You know, my chista dad or whatever. And once you got it, people in your family, like, oh, you're a little bitch, you know, you don't do that. The woman is supposed to tie her tubes or whatever they do. And yeah, I don't know. Things are changing, bro. It's 2024 now. Uh, we have to, um, you know, I don't want to say take a little responsibility because we always, as a partner, we, we do have responsibilities. But, you know, sometimes take a little bit off their plate. You know what I mean? But like I said, I was the same way. I was like, oh, I don't think I want to get one just because one... For me, it was not a whole machista thing. It was, you know, me being a little bitch because I heard stories like, oh, they cut your nuts or whatever. It's nothing like that, dog. It's nothing like that. Literally, it was a 30-minute procedure and se acabo, bro. Se acabo. But let's keep watching and then I'll tell you a little bit more about, about my procedure because mine was specifically different. It was weird. But let's let's watch. They said, why not, Nestor? La unión hace la fuerza. <laughs> y si ustedes mm. están en contra de que yo no me haga nada ya, it's his turn. Yo perdiste, fuck. It's, it's your turn, no, brother. Seriously, like, oh, le digo, ya no fui 
friegues, like, do you want me to tie my tubes again and then go through, do you want me to have a fucked up attitude or do you te encanta que sea igual de linda, tranquila, amorosa? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after that video, I saw another video. I don't know if this was the same day, right? Because I wasn't on TikTok all that much over the weekend, but Candy did make a video trying to convince her audience to, you know, to tell Nestor, yo, Nestor, Get your fucking vasectomy done, doggy. But uh, yeah, this is the second video that uh, Candy made. I please keep scrolling. I do not need your vote. No, I'm just kidding. I need your guys' help. I need you guys to help me convince my husband to get a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier today, Nestor and I were live and we were talking about how I think that Nestor should be getting a vasectomy for many reasons. After you guys hear my reasons, please help me vote on who do you think should get surgery to I'll not have any vote. more kids. I hope you vote. Now it doesn't mean that he's gonna actually do it, but pero que le entre por la cabeza, que entienda. I'm a scary cat when it comes to like surgeries and stuff like that. And I know it's not a surgery, it's a procedure, but still. But what are the reasons why you don't want? Oh the shit! Hold on. So Nestor's reasoning was, you know, the whole he's a little bitch like me. Bro, I was the same way. Me tripas, no, don't tripas por I literally, I was the same way. I was like, oh no, um, bro, that shit's gonna hurt. And I'm going to be honest, for me, it hurt a little bit, like a six out of 10, just because my freaking doctor or the surgeon was like, bro, no se espero, dude. Like they numb you first and he literally numbed me. And then after that, after the shot was like, all right, let's get to it. Like, bro, at least wait a minute. Let this thing come. Let my things get numb. No, pero no, as pinchy surgeon said, nah. Let's get sh I have shit to do today. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if this is too too much uh, information, but just me. OK, I'm not trying to scare. N I was going to say, nah, you know what? I'm not going to say it because then he's going to get scared. No, but I'm being real. This was just my experience. That food didn't wait for my for me to be numb. So I felt the cut, bro. I felt the cut. And oh, so my, bro, it was like a six out of ten. And I. <laughs> I'm a little bitch when it comes to pain, bro. Um, I don't handle pain very well. So, I mean, 6 out of 10, I feel like it's not that bad. Pero, yeah, I felt it. That was the only part I felt, um, if I'm being real. Uh, so, yeah, it was like, just tell your surgeon to wait until it gets numb down there, all right? And, uh, yeah, that's that. But, yeah, let's continue um, with this video. Maybe. <gasps> maybe. Maybe not. Oh, he wants more kids. Happens, happens. With me or someone else? Because I'm done. I'm, well, I'm just saying like, oh, it's up to you, Angelique. Angelique, do you oh. want, oops, sorry. Do you want another baby brother or baby sister? You want to be the only child? You're going to lift and go. Yeah, but <laughs> you were asleep and then when you're going to be awake when you do that. So it's, that's why I was like, hell no. Like, yeah, you're awake. If you guys experienced that, let me know how I I went like if it's painful. One of the reasons why I think that it's better for him to do it is because, and not me, is because I already went through this. I already tied my tubes exactly. after I had my fourth baby, and then I untied my Next tubes two. to have our fifth child, which is Angelique. Sufri mucho, you know, my hormonal changes. Um, when you did your tubes, when you tied your, your tubes, mm -hmm. oh yeah. I had premenopause to the point that I had nodules growing on my throat to the point oh, that they thought I had cancer. So I just really do not want to put myself yes. there. So I, that's why I tell him, why don't you get a vasectomy? That way we're done having kids. Well, that's why, because I feel like there's going to be side effects. Even though a lot of people are different, like say your husband's did that, like they don't have side effects at all. But like for me, I don't know. I just think so much, think like different shit, you know? So I'm like, that's why I don't Bro, want to. Mike, if you're going to go for it, don't, don't overthink it. I, I'm an overthinker, especially with that, like a, I called it a major surgery, but it's not a major surgery, just a procedure. Um, yeah, I was thinking, oh, my, I was overthinking. To be honest, listen, if you're also worried about the recovery, the recovery in two days, bro, yeah, you're good. You're good. You can't have fun, you know, but you're good. <laughs> you're good. Like, you could walk. Um, the first day was like, oh, you just want to lay down and rest. You have to rest. Because, you know, but... They get swollen. <laughs> the second day, they, they start, you know, going down or whatever. But you still want to rest just because you don't want to do a lot of movement. Uh, the third day, yeah. By the third day, you were good. You you were able to walk normally. Not like 100%, but maybe 95% you were able to 
walk, all Gucci, told them. But yeah, it was like three to four days. Uh, they tell you to take like a, I think it was 10 days from like working out or doing anything, like any activities. Um, but yeah, I mean, just follow those instructions and your Gucci. Listen, the best time was resting, bro. I was just watching my shows, literally just watching shows. Ito. So yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. It, it really isn't. I know a lot of people make it seem, oh, it's the worst thing ever happened to me. No, it, it's not that bad. Another toy would be abstinence. I obviously think that guys should be helping out because mm -hmm. after having five kids and having all those surgeries, I think that is their turn. Yeah. And I'm not making him. You know, and I see that Candy's making him. I'm not making him. I'm just making him see the facts. <laughs> yeah, I saw videos on YouTube, guys, and I was like, uh-uh. I'm not doing that shit. You really saw videos? Yeah. You're not supposed to. Do you guys think that Nestor <laughs> should be the one doing this? Well, hopefully Nestor watches this video. Bro, I'm telling you, no well. Well, to me, it just... The food didn't numb me, or he went right away. But other than that, you can't feel shit, bro. You're numb. You can't feel it. Even I was scared, like, oh, my God, when I pee, that shit's going to hurt. Hell no. It doesn't feel like nothing, bro. So, yeah, I mean, go for it, doggy. Comment sisters and blue hearts like we did on our live. Oh, shit. Well, so, hell no. Baby comment. Baby. Oh, I know. No, <laughs> yes, I'm done. There, there is no debate about this. I, I'm done having kids. Okay, so yeah, that just was something I want to discuss. Uh, not just because they said it, but it's it's something that, you know, a lot of us Latinos, Mexicans, Hispanics go through. You know, us as a man, um, especially if you're raised with a machismo dad or machista dad. They always tell you, like, no, don't do it. Let the woman do it. Uh, don't be a little bitch. Don't be a little pussy. Nah, that's not... Uh, we're like I said, we're in 2024. That's not the model anymore. Uh, we're we're not in the the early 1900s, bro. It's not 1930. No, a la verga. No, no, no. Uh, but yeah, my experience it wasn't bad at all. It was smooth, smooth, bro, smooth. Uh, recovery was smooth too. And I'm not just saying this because, uh, people might say I'm I'm kissing ass trying to get attention. No, literally, I've been through a vasectomy. Um. I, I just wanted two kids. After the second one, I said, bro, I'm done. I want my sleep back. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was it was good. Um, and also, I didn't want to, uh, you know, let my lady go through more shit. She's been through a lot, literally. Uh, two babies, postpartum depression, uh, surgeries, not just, you know, it, it's a lot of shit, okay? A lot of shit. So, yeah, I mean, help your lady out, bro. It's not that scary. It's It's quick. 30 minutes, bro, 30 to 40 minutes, and you're good. You're good. So, yeah, I just want to talk about that because I, I've been seeing this all over my TikTok feed, and I thought, yo, this is a good topic. This is a good topic. So, yeah, Nestor, think about it, bro. Think about it more, okay? But, I mean, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. I'm just telling you, it ain't that bad. <laughs> it ain't that bad.